What's up YouTube, welcome back to another video on my channel Scotrix and today as you can see we are back on NBA 2K21 Next Gen for another build guide video and in today's video I'm actually going to be showing you all three builds, the three best builds for the rec in NBA 2K21 Next Gen. I'm going to be showing you all the best guard build, the best wing build and the best big man build so I'll have you covered for no matter what position you want to play and no matter what role you want to play on your team I'm going to have a build for you for sure for sure. But before we get into that I just want to mention really quickly if y'all have not subscribed to my channel yet make sure you click that subscribe button only about 2% of people who watch my videos are actually subbed to my channel so if you click that subscribe button right now you can join the two percent gang i really really appreciate it it helps out a lot and also i stream on twitch my twitch link will be down in the description below if you enjoy watching live streams make sure you go check me out over there as well i really appreciate that but yeah with all that being said without any further ado let's get right into the video here All right, so first up, we're going to start with the guard build right here. So the first thing you want to do is just make it a point guard, the hand, jersey number, name. None of that really matters. You can set that up however you want. As long as you're a point guard, then you can just go ahead and click continue. Now for the height right here, you want to go up two inches to six foot five right here. This is just so that you're not super short. You know, you don't want to be like six foot one, six foot two, because you're just going to have guards that are like four inches taller than you guarding you all the time. And you're not going to be able to do anything. And you're also not going to be able to defend them. So six foot five right here is the perfect height for a guard. Then for the weight right here, you want to bring this down to 185 pounds so that you can get a 91 speed 91 acceleration and once you get into the gatorade facility you can get that up to 95 both of those and once you get up to 99 overall those will both be up to 99 so that's why you want to be at 85 pounds right here you can see if you bring it up even one pound you lose that and if you go lower you're going to lose other stuff that you don't want to so 185 pounds is the perfect spot right there then for the wingspan you want to bring this up to six foot ten right here this is so that you can have a 95 driving dunk 95 mid-range 95 three-pointer all of that if you go up to six foot 11 you lose the three pointer if you go down to six foot nine you lose the finishing driving dunk right there so you just want to be at six foot ten right here perfect balance right there for the wingspan then for the body shape this doesn't matter you can choose whichever one you want it doesn't affect the attributes it doesn't affect the badges all it changes is how the build looks so for me i'll probably just take defined because i think it's the one that looks the best in the game then you can go ahead and just click continue now for the attribute and badge distribution right here for this build first off for the finishing you're just going to want to go ahead and go straight down to the layup and move this all the way up to an 80. now this isn't going to be the best finishing build in the game just because in the rec you're not going to be able to finish at the rim super super consistently especially if there's big men in the paint you're going to have a tough time finishing over them on any guard so it's not really worth investing a ton into finishing but you are going to invest enough so that if you're playing one-on-one -on -one against your guard in sort of like an iso situation where your whole team's on one side of the court you will be able to dunk on them you'll have all the contact dunks animations all of that you'll be able to do everything in 1v1 situations like that but you're not going to be able to get into the paint when there's like three people up there and go up on them but you shouldn't be able to do that anyways so that's why you only want to do this upgrade your driving dunk all the way up to max and have your driving layup at an 80 right there that will give you three finishing badges and as you can see you can get posterizers so you can be dunking on people like crazy just set up your finishing just like that then go down to the shooting for shooting you want to max on mid-range three pointer and then you want to bring your free throw all the way up to a 70 right here you want to have this high enough so that you can make free throws consistently since this is a build that is oriented towards the rec or the prime 5v5 and a 70 free throw will be more than enough to make free throws consistently you'll be able to make probably like 80 to 85 percent of your free throws if you know your timing with a 70 free throw so that's where you want to set it up right there just like this for the shooting obviously an amazing shooting build max star attributes 23 badges all of the badges on hall of fame super super good right there then you can go down to the playmaking right here for playmaking you want to bring your pass accuracy up to a 72 which will be high enough to make all of the passes that you need to make in the rec obviously pass accuracy is pretty important in the rec and this will be more than good enough at 72 right there and then you want to max out your ball handle and your speed with ball so you can be as fast as possible as good at dribbling as possible you can iso do all that stuff you have pro dribble moves all that and as you can see you can also get every single playmaking badge with this build so super super good right here in the playmaking then you can go down to the defense for the defense right here you want to bring your perimeter defense up to a 91 which is amazing more than good enough and then you want to bring up your defensive rebound up to an 82 as well. That will give you nine defense badges. And the reason you don't upgrade steel, I'll show you in a, in a second here why you don't upgrade steel. But it is pretty it's pretty hard to make a good guard build that can have steel you basically need to have way less shooting or absolutely no finishing or way less playmaking so i'll show you in a second but trust me just set up your defense just like this then go down to physicals max out your speed max out your acceleration as well and your stamina just like that boom and then you have a few extra attributes right here i recommend just putting these into verticals so you can get that up to a 79 so you can dunk on people as easy as possible but i will show you really quickly let's say you don't want rebound and you want steel instead you take away the rebound where you had nine defense badges and you decide to put that into steel instead boom 34 steel with zero defense badges so that's 
that's nowhere near as good. Plus rebounding is pretty important in the rec for all five positions. So that's why I recommend setting it up just like this. Just all of these attributes, just like this three finishing, 23 shooting, 14 playmaking, nine defense badges, and also very, very, very good physicals on this build. Then you can go ahead and click continue. Now, for the takeovers, you have the option between the slasher, shot creator, sharpshooter, and lockdown takeovers, and you can really choose whichever ones fit your playstyle the best. For the rec, I would say that the lockdown ones are good, the sharpshooters are amazing, the shot creators aren't as good because there's not going to be as much open space on the court to be able to make shot creator type of shots, but ankle breaking shots is still really good, and the slashing takeovers are also pretty good in the rec, but I'm going to go ahead and take two shooting takeovers, I'm going to take limitless range as my primary, and actually I'll take a lockdown takeover, I'll take extreme clamps as my secondary, just like that. Go ahead and say yes. And as you can see right here, boom, scoring machine, shades of John Morant, John Wall, and Malcolm Brogdon. Now, I'm not going to show you the best badges in this build, or in this video rather, for any of the builds, but if you do want to see the best badges for the rec, let me know in the comments below and I can make a video on all of the best badges in next gen for the rec or the 5v5 Pro-Am. Just let me know that that's what you want to see. I'll probably be, end up making one on current gen soon, so I could definitely make one on next gen as well. But now, let's just go ahead and get straight into the second build right here, the best wing build. All right, so now for the best wing build in NBA 2K21 next gen, first thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is get the position onto small forward, hand, jersey number, name, again, none of that really matters. You can just go ahead and say continue once you have the position as small forward. Then for the height, you want to bring this up to six foot eight right here. For the weight, you want to bring this down to 207 pounds. As you guys can see, I'm trying to go a little bit faster through these so that the video is not too long. For the wingspan, you want to bring this up to seven foot right here. And as you can see, all of the attributes are looking super, super nice right here. Super good balance. Basically everything in the mid 80s or high 90s right there. So this is how you're going to want to have right here or low 90s, I mean. Then for the body shape, this really doesn't matter. Again, choose whichever one you want. I'll take defined again. Then just go ahead and click continue. Now for the attribute and badge distribution right here, first thing you're going to want to do for the finishing is go ahead and max out your driving layup, driving dunk, standing dunk, all the way up to an 82 right there, which is one below max and gives you 14 finishing badges. And as you can see, you can get every single good finishing badge onto a hall of fame. So that's super, super good right there. Then go down to the shooting max o mid range three pointer and put your free throw all the way up to an 80. Again, you want to have your free throw pretty high since you're making this build for the rec or the prime 5v5. And you're going to want to be able to shoot free throws as consistently as possible. And 80 is more than enough. You should be able to make like 95% of your free throws with an 80 free throw if you know your release. So, so yeah, just set up your finishing or your shooting just like that it gives you 20 badges. Then you can go down to your playmaking right here for playmaking. Your pass accuracy only gets up to a 63, which is not too bad because once you get up to a 98, you actually do unlock bullet passer. So that's good. And then you want to max out your ball handle and your speed with ball. That gives you eight playmaking badges. And as you can see, you can get quick first step, a few other good badges, but you don't really need too many playmaking badges since you're going to be playing off ball. You're probably going to be in the corner a lot of the times, spot up shooting, stuff like that, driving to the rim, catching alley-oops, all that type of stuff. So you don't need too much playmaking it's kind of one of the more least important badge attribute categories for this build but still you do have really good statistics and badges and playmaking but then you can go down to the defense right here and defense is super super good on this build because you want to be able to guard every single position which is super super important in the rec for any wing build so you're going to want to go ahead and max out your perimeter steal block defensive rebound and yeah that's pretty much it right there you're gonna have 18 defense badges and you should be able to guard every single position even though you don't have interior defense upgraded it's not too important you really won't need it uh yeah you don't really need interior defense too much especially not in the rec 18 defense badges that's more than enough right there so then you can go down to the physicals right here for physicals you want to max those speed acceleration stamina and then just put your vertical up right there to a 70 and as you can see you have 14 finishing 20 shooting eight playmaking and 18 defense badges right here to go along with these crazy physicals and you're going to have every single contact dunk animation as well on this build so super super good build right here super super good wing build super good for any team comp anything that you're running this is going to be an amazing build you could play the shooting guard small forward power forward anything this is an amazing build just go ahead and say yes now for the takeovers right here you have the option between the slasher shot creator sharpshooter and lockdown same ones as last time and I would recommend definitely taking the sharpshooter. Both of these ones are really good because you're probably gonna be playing catch and shoot a lot. You could also take the locks down, lockdowns like I did last time, or even the slashers. Again, the shot creators, probably the worst ones to take for this build. I wouldn't really recommend them, but you could take them if you want to. But for me, I'm gonna take limitless range as my primary and spot up precision as my secondary. Boom. And as you can see right here, 
two-way three-level scorer, shades of Michael Porter Jr., George Gervin, and Jalen Brown. So that is the best wing build for the rec in NBA 2K21 Next Gen. Now let's get on to the best big man build in NBA 2K21 Next Gen for the rec in the Pro M5v5. All right, so here we are on the final build, the best big man for the rec in NBA 2K21 Next Gen. First things first, you're going to want to go ahead and get your position onto power forward, hand, jersey number, and name, none of that really matters too much. You can just set that up however you want, then just go ahead and click continue. Now for the body settings right here, first off for the height, you wanna leave this right at six foot nine. This is so that you can get every single animation in the game. Really, you don't need to be taller than six foot nine. If you go any taller, you're gonna to start to lose animations. You don't want that. Six foot nine is tall enough to guard every single position, to score over every single position, every single height, all of that. So go to six foot nine right there. Then for the weight right here, you wanna bring this down so that you can get as much speed as possible since running the fast break in the rec on a big man that can rebound is like super OP so you want to upgrade this or put this as low as possible so that you have as much speed as possible 214 pounds is the perfect spot right there then for the wingspan you can just bring this down one inch so that you get a little bit more shooting and body shape again does not matter i'm just going to go ahead and take defined then go ahead and say yes continue now for the attribute and badge distribution right here first off for the finishing you're going to want to go ahead and max so you're driving layup driving dunk standing dunk all the way up to a 95 and then you want to put this last attribute right here post control all the way up to a 42 so that you get those 21 finishing badges and as you can see every single good finishing badge onto hall of fame except slithery which only gets up to gold but you can actually get that up to hall of fame once you get above 95 overall so that's good set up your finishing just like that then you can go down to the shooting right here for shooting you want to max all mid-range three-pointer and then put your free throw up right here to a 68 which will be high enough it's not amazing 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 but with a 68 free throw you'll definitely still be consistent right there so that's really all you need 68 free throw to go along with your 85 three-pointer which is really really good for a big man build and your 17 shooting badges then you can go down to the playmaking right here for playmaking just go ahead and max out absolutely everything like i said this build is going to be running in transition it's going to be like like kind of like a zion williamson type of build but two inches taller it's going to be sprinting in transition dunking on everybody shooting threes over everybody all of that so just max out all of your playmaking right there get yourself 24 playmaking badges then go down to the defense right here max out perimeter steel block defensive rebound and then you can also put your interior defense all the way up to a 40 two right there so you get those 18 defense badges and again just like all the other categories every single good defense badge onto either gold or hall of fame then go down to your physicals go ahead and max out speed acceleration stamina all the way up to 94 and then you want to put your last four attributes right here into your vertical you could also put them into like strength or interior defense or something but it's really not worth it you just want to upgrade it just like this and this build actually has over 80 badges which is crazy this is a super 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 good build for really park rec Pro-Am, wherever you're playing, this is super good, but it is obviously amazing for the rec. So that's where I'm kind of setting it up to be played in, but you could play it anywhere with attributes and badges like this. So once you have everything look like this, just go ahead and click continue. Now for the takeover right here, this is interesting because you actually have options of the playmaking takeovers, but I don't know if I really recommend taking those. I mean, take whatever you want, really. It's your build. But I think the slasher or the sharpshooter or even the glass cleaner takeovers are a little bit better, at least for this build. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and take a slashing takeover as the primary. I like easy blow buys, but I'm going to go ahead and take finishing moves as the primary. And then as the secondary, maybe I'll take see the future because I kind of like that one. It reminds me of 2K20 when you could see where all the rebounds were going all the time. So that's the one I'm going to go ahead and take right there. Boom. Yes. And as you can see right here, you have a playmaking three level score, which is actually also the name of my primary build that I use in the park, which is similar to this one. And this one gets shades of Chris Webber, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and Zion Williamson. Just like I said earlier, even though it's a little bit taller than him, it still gets compared to him. But yeah, that's going to be the last and final build for this video. Hopefully it's not too long and hopefully you guys also enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe to my channel if you're new. Like I said, only 2% of people who watch my videos are actually subbed to my channel. So if you click that subscribe button right now, you can join the 2% gang. I really, really appreciate it. Helps a lot. And also I stream on Twitch. My Twitch link will be down in the description below. I really appreciate all the support y'all have been showing over there. But yeah, that's going to be it. All right. Peace.